gang, how are you? Vince Welch, Vince is Wood and Wonders. Welcome to the shop. I hope you are doing well. Need to apologize as I'm kind of cleaning up this uh, lathe here, getting ready. Turn a little project with you. I need to apologize. I know it's been a little while since made any of these uh, movies or videos or whatever we're calling these things. I had to move somebody. Move my dad. 81 years old. The weather hasn't been cooperating. It took some time. And you'll forgive me, but those who know me will understand when I tell you my dad. He can be a bit of a handful. All right, all right, let's calm down. Anyway, we got him moved. Everything's great. He's situated. Now you and I, we can get back to business, and that's the uh, good stuff here, turning some projects, talking about some things. I thought we would take a uh, moment, a few minutes here, and turn a bowl. It's hackberry. If you've ever turned hackberry, it's not a real hard wood. It's kind of a softer hard wood. Uh, tends to be a little bit stringy, but it's a nice wood to turn. It's not as soft as maybe cedar or something like that, but uh, uh, it's a rather large cored out blank. And this blank, actually, this was cored out back in 2010. I cannot believe it. Where does the time go? I don't even know why I still have these blanks. I have them laying around still, and I look at the dates on these things, and I think, my gosh. Anyway, 2010, Hackberry Bowl. Let's see if we can shape it up. Let's see what happens. Before we get started, let me take a moment and let you know, hey, we've got t-shirts available if you're at all interested. Vince's Wood and Wonders t-shirts. We've got them in uh, two colors. This firehouse red, great color, uh, and then there's a coral blue. On the front has the logo, on the back it says something to the effect of, you know, when life gets rough, I just sand it out. I don't know if you can see it here. Looks something like that. Anyway, fantastic, uh, a lot of fun. Uh, got them in sizes medium large extra large and i believe 2x i believe still have some sizes uh some in each size still available and i'm going to put them on sale here for the next couple of weeks if you want a shirt uh, go ahead and order up uh, throw it in with your sandpaper order and i'll get it right out to you um let's see what else can i tell you yeah i think that's it hey let's get started on turning that bowl stand by so, earlier I mentioned, where does the time go? As I was setting up this bowl, it dawned on me as I'm looking down at this lathe. I cannot believe it. I believe I received this lathe back in 2000, oh, I believe it was 2004, maybe 2005 at the very latest. I mean, I've had this thing now for 13 years. And I've got to give a shout out to the One Way folks because, knock on wood, I haven't had any problems out of this lathe whatsoever. Uh, you know, you, you hear about folks talking about, you know, this went out, the controller went out, the inverter went out, this went out, that went out, problems. Nothing. It's great absolutely love it and uh, so with that said you know I'm out at these symposiums quite a bit and people ask me hey you know what kind of lathe would you buy if you could buy a lathe and I tell them I wouldn't change a thing I'd go right back and buy exactly what I bought before which was a one-way 1640 lathe I've got the outboard extension which allows me to turn 24 inch if I want to, if I need to. I generally use that side for my coring efforts and do all my turning on the uh, inboard, inside. Um, just really a solid piece of equipment. Um, they're chucks, everything. So can't say enough about them. Uh, took, uh, you know, I said, well, boy, 
tend to be pretty pricey or you know it's um, there's a couple of ways of uh, looking about going about getting your equipment you know some people do the step up they buy <clears throat> the very next thing that they can buy um, and they end up buying maybe two or three lathes before they end up with the their final purchase um, or there's the you know buy once cry once type of thing and I think that's the route that I took uh, I saved my money it took me a little bit longer to save up my uh, coins but uh, got it done and uh, never have looked back so thanks to the one-way folks anyway I'll go ahead and spin this uh, I've got this kind of chucked up I'm gonna shape up the outside and uh, get the tendon shaped up see what we're into here see if we can salvage this thing stand by all right I've got my Thompson half inch here speed I don't know probably around 800 rpm everything's locked down secure let's take a few cuts see how it feels Go ahead and get things suited up for the tenon so I know at least where the size of the tenon needs to be. Let's see where we got what we got here. On the bowl like this, generally I use a my three-inch jaws on my chuck to uh, get this thing situated. So yeah, I think we're okay there. Little little bit of vibration at a thousand RPM, so we're gonna back it off here just a little bit. using the tip of the tool got the handle way down using my body One thing for sure, this bowl is dry. Yeah, we're in good shape here. I can see that we have some area that's going to require some attention, probably some CA, some super glue. We'll be able to deal with that. Let's go ahead and just get this outside roughed up a little bit more. Rough turned, that is. This 
bowl has so much figure to it, I don't think I will be doing any decorative uh, enhancements to the outside of the bowl. I'm just going to let the bowl speak for itself. But, uh, a couple more slight light cuts here. We'll call this outside roughed out here. I'm looking for is just a nice flowing curve from the base of the bowl up to the top at this point. Some more work that's going to need to be done to this, but uh, I think we're, we'll be okay. I think also, too, what we're going to do is go ahead and treat this knot that I was mentioning to you before. We're going to do, treat this with uh, some thin CA glue and some of the shavings that I've got left right here. So let's do that right now. Stand by. All right. So we've got our thin CA glue here. And I want to let you know, this is our, this is my own brand of uh, CA glue. I've got this in thick, th medium, and thin in both 2 ounce and 8 ounce. I've got it on sale right now. It's really nice. It, it comes not only with a label letting you know what the manufacture date was so that you don't have to guess how long have I had this, is it still good, any of that stuff. The date's right there. It's on there for you. But it also comes with a very nice screw-on cap. So you knock the thing over, you don't have a mess anymore. I can even set it on my bed ways here, my lathe ways and not worry too much about uh, it getting knocked over. Anyway, you've got that accelerator, debonder, whatever you need. So I'm just going to force some shavings some into the uh, area there. I just kind of flood this area with some thin CA glue because I'm going to go back over it later on turn this area so I think we'll be okay here 